Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Code with Vene. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to reverse an array using recursion in Java. Reversing an array is a common programming problem and there are various ways to solve it and recursion is one of the elegant ways to do it. So if you are interested in learning how to reverse an array using recursion in Java, then keep watching. If you feel that you need to brush up your knowledge of recursion, then I already have an in-depth video for you. You can find the link to the detailed video in the description. Let us first understand the logic with the help of an example. The name of the array which we want to reverse recursively is AR. Its first element is at index 0 and the last element is at index a.length-1. We will first swap the first and the last index, that is the element at index 0 and the element at index a.length-1. In order to perform the swap, we will use a temporary variable called temp. The first step of interchanging will be to move the element at position 0 to the temporary variable temp. Then we'll move the value at the index position a dot length minus 1 to element at index position 0. After that, we'll move the value of element 0 stored in temp to array position a dot length minus 1. These three operations will interchange the element stored at the extreme corners. We will have to perform similar swap operations for other elements in order to completely reverse the array. The image now on your screen shows the same set of operations for the next two elements, namely for the element 1 and a dot length minus 2. Let us generalize the operation. Let us say we have a variable called offset which stores the distance of elements to be swapped from the two corners. This variable offset will vary from 0 to half the length of the array. And we'll swap the elements at the position a of offset with a of a dot length minus 1 minus offset. Note that we need to stop once the value of offset reaches halfway because if we increase the value of offset beyond half, we'll start to undo the reversal which we have achieved. So, our exit condition is half more than a dot length divided by 2. That is, we stop the recursion once the value of offset exceeds a dot length divided by 2. Let us code this logic now. So we'll make our main function that is public static void and let's call it reverse array recursive and this is going to accept two arguments the array which we want to reverse let's call it a and the offset which we want which we are focusing on so offset and then our exit condition was that if the value of offset is more than the half, that is, if the value of offset is more than the half of the array, that is a dot length divided by 2, then we want to return. So we'll simply say return. Please note the function is void, but we can give a blank return to indicate that we want to return from here. We are not returning any value though. Otherwise, we'll swap. For swapping we need a temporary variable so we'll say int temp and then we'll assign the value of a of offset to it. So the value of a of offset goes into temp and then we need to swap it with the last element or rather from the element from the right. So we'll say a of a dot length minus one that is the last element minus offset. Note the first value of offset will be 0. Anything minus 0 is that thing. So a dot length minus 1 minus offset will be a dot length minus 1 when offset is equal to 0. So this value will be stored inside the a of offset. And then in the last step, we'll store the value of temp into a dot length minus 1 minus offset. So I'll copy this, paste it over here and we'll say equal to So this takes care of the swapping and now we come to the most important part that is the recursive step. So well, once this is done, we'll recurse again. We'll say reverse array recursive. The name of the array will obviously not change, but this time the offset will be increased by one. So we'll start from zero, then it will go to one, then two, and this will go on 
till it is that is till the offset is length less than the half of the array so this is the main part now again the same thing is happening which we have seen in other programs on recursion we need to reverse an array but we are supposed to pass another value which is offset which is not directly the part of the reversal the end user is only concerned or rather the end user should be concerned concerned only with that okay i want to reverse the array i want to pass this array as an argument he would not like to pass int offset and for that what we'll do is we'll overload the method we'll say public static void reverse array recursive and we'll just pass one argument and from within this we'll directly call the method we'll say reverse array recursive and then we'll pass this so this way the end user will only call the function reverse array recursive with one argument and from within that function we'll call our recursive function let's create a test case for the same we'll first create an array let's say our array is ar and we'll assign some values to it for easier checking i'm going to place the values in ascending order so let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then we'll call the method that is reverse array recursive with only one argument and once it is called this will call the actual recursive one and then when it returns our array should have been reversed so if we are passing one two three four five six seven we should get six seven five four three two one let's print the array directly to see whether or not the reversal has taken place so we'll say to print the array directly we'll need to import the util package so import java dot util dot asterisk and then we'll say array dot to string arrays dot to string and then we'll print our array so let's run this program to see whether it's working or not so program gets executed and we are getting 7654321 which implies that our program is working correctly now right now we have passed seven values rather an array with seven elements let's check the same for even number of elements as well so we'll say comma eight and this time we are expecting 87654321 and there we are our program is working in both the cases when even number of elements are passed and when odd numbers of elements are passed also note that array is a reference data type and we are passing the reference to the array to the recursive function reverse array recursive each recursive call is operating on the original array through its reference and and a new array is not being created on each call only the array reference and the offset is being created on each call and that's it for today's video i hope you found it informative and learned something new recursion is a powerful tool in programming and knowing how to use it to solve problems like reversing an array can come in handy in many situations if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one your feedback is valuable to me i want to make sure that my videos are clear and helpful you can follow me on the internet on any one or all of these channels